All right, I'll, I'll throw this to Mr. Max, and she was the uh, presenter and still is the presenter. Um, I don't know if there are any modifications or anything that you want to do to this resolution tonight. Uh, you've heard the concerns of the board and of the public, and um, I'll, I'll leave it to you. You can bring it up, bring it up again. Well, I have had, I think, extensive discussions with people on uh, Facebook and privately about this, and um, even some members of the board, but I haven't shared all what I've learned, but I wanted to wait until tonight to hear what was said by everybody here to figure out uh, if we can come up with a resolution that would uh, achieve the goals that you want to achieve. And what I've heard tonight basically was uh, we want to stand with these people, we want to show support, we want to recognize the amazing prom and acknowledge and support uh, the existence and uh, the value of uh, LGBTQ youth. And um, I did uh, draft a revision of this. I haven't shared it with all the members of the board yet because, uh, as I said, I wanted to hear the comments from people and make sure it resonated with that. And um, I don't know how to go about uh, approving this because the board hasn't seen it, but I was going to suggest that I don't want to delay this either, but uh, I think this is a, such a great learning experience and we have a human relations commission that may be able to work with the high school students from Newtown to review any draft, maybe the draft I had written up, and uh, come to a a consensus as to uh, the revision that might be uh, something that the board could uh, look at and approve. So I don't know what the proper procedure is. I'm okay with if we want to make a minor revision to the one we currently have and vote on it tonight, that's fine. Um, I don't know how we do that, but I'll get some advice from our solicitor on that. Well, do you have a, uh, a copy of the draft that you said you revised some things on? I do. Why don't you, uh, why don't you read it if you want to? Okay. Bear with me. <laughs> uh, it's titled, The Resolution of the Township of Newtown, Bucks County, Pennsylvania, recognizing the Love is Love Day prom and its support of LGBTQ youth in the Newtown Township community. Obviously, this is a resolution dealing with Newtown, and, but we want to uh, make that clear. And there's a way, there are a few whereas's, uh, and, uh, and the first whereas is the Board of Supervisors of Newtown Township was the first township in Bucks County, PA, to pass an anti-discrimination ordinance that created a Human Relations Commission to protect the rights of all citizens in the township without regard to actual or perceived race, color, gender, religion, ancestry, genetic information, national origin, sexual orientation, gender identity, gender expression, familial status, marital status, age, mental or physical disability, use of guide or support animals, and or mechanical aids. Now, by the way, this language is, I hope and I believe, in every, uh, Bid that we send out, uh, who contractors who want to do work in Newtown have to abide by that uh, provision of our ordinance. Now I go on to another uh, whereas, uh, whereas being an adolescent during a time when those around you are expressing their love for each other can be overwhelming, especially if you do not see examples you identify with. Now this is where I took out the Valentine's Day reference which people were mentioning here. Uh, in other words, according to the Peace Center, LGBTQ plus minority youth in our community face harassment, violence, and discrimination. Whereas the rate of suicide among teenagens within the LGBTQ plus community 
is nearly four times higher than for their heterosexual peers. And whereas the Rainbow Room LGBTQ Youth Organization hosted a Love is Love prom on February 15, 2020 at the Mitchell Art Museum for LGBTQ youth and their allies, allies and whereas accepting the LGBTQ plus minority youth in our community and in society at large helps remind those who we care about that love is love regardless of how they identify. Now therefore be it, and it is hereby resolved by the Board of Supervisors of Newtown Township that Newtown Township supports all youth and especially LGBTQ plus minority youth in our community and the organizations that provide support to them during a time when they are the most vulnerable. That's my draft. Well, now that Mr. Mack has read that, I'll ask the board if they need any further referencing to this or if they find with this, uh, this reading of the particular motion. Dennis? David? I'm fine with it. All right. So I'm going to say that, John, you just made a motion. I will entertain a second. I'll second. I have a motion to second. Any further questions from the board? Any questions from the public on the motion? I would propose one word change, partly in light of the mention about uh, how vulnerable other populations are, including youth of color. Maybe instead of saying especially LGBTQ youth, because it's not, this is not a special right or special recognition to maybe say Newtown Township supports all youth and uplifts and celebrates rather than and especially that. So just, just my one suggestion. Sure. Mr. Mack, you have that revision? Yes. Fine with me. Second. Second's fine with me. Okay. You got that revision. Are there any other revisions before we, we keep going on? Anyone else? Would like to come up and mention, talk about the motion? Anybody want to talk about love? <laughs> I, I think I, 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 Mr. Chairman, I just want to uh, thank the board for considering this. I urge you to vote in favor of the motion. And I'd like to just say in response to your comments, Mr. Oxley, what your kids have endured is absolutely unacceptable. And every one of us in, our, in this community, and I pledge to you, myself, We'll stand with you and fight to make sure that never happens again. And we as a community in Newtown and across Bucks County and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and everywhere in the United States need to stand up with one voice and say, racism is absolutely unacceptable and no child and no human being should ever have to endure it. And we will work and make sure that happens and we'll make a statement and we'll do more than that moving forward. So thank you for sharing that with all of us. We have a motion and a second. Uh, no further comments, so I will call the question. All those in favor? 